You may have received one from Andrew, Mary, Sue, Sarah, or Emma. Politically charged texts sent these last few days you may not have signed up for. It's sometimes referred to as virtual door knocking, a strategy used by political parties across Canada. But just how do they get a hold of your personal contact information? Thanks for calling the customer care line for the Conservative Party of Canada. That's what we heard when we called one of the numbers that sent out a text opposing the Liberal government's carbon tax that takes effect on Monday. Some messages even named Conservative leader Andrew Scheer as the sender. A link accompanied the text that took you to a website asking you to sign up and divulge even more information including your name, email and postal code. This is a controversial tactic that's gotten some backlash in the past. It just turns me off. If they're gonna, if they're gonna spam me or anything, I would actually not vote for them. So basically, bye, yeah. get away. I think it's uh, it's a way to communicate with people who are maybe not on social media, who are not reading. Uh, headlines. The federal Conservative Party tells City News that texts were sent to people in the four provinces without a carbon tax plan. Ontario, Saskatchewan, Manitoba and New Brunswick. They also say they're using this technology to do voter outreach. Quote, just as we would over the years knock on someone's door to deliver a message, we're also informing them via communications mediums they regularly use like text messaging and social media. Other parties have also sent max tax to garner support from voters, including the Liberal Party. With a federal election just seven months away, experts expect Canadians will be getting even more of these mass messages from parties here. All the parties are going to use this, just like all the parties make phone calls. I mean, what's so different between getting it on your text or getting a phone call? How effective would you say the strategy is? Well, it's effective. I think the upside of it is greater than the downside. You alienate some people. The people who are most upset about it don't want to vote Conservative to begin with. The Conservative Party says most phone numbers were generated randomly through a software program. But a cybersecurity expert says people should be concerned that they're getting unsolicited texts, emails or calls and feels people should be allowed to opt out of these messages. Most people have not opted to be called, right? So it's part of a big picture of how our data is loosely out there and all those companies are aggregating it and then selling it. I think it's time for a bit of an overhaul when it comes to what the political parties can do and cannot do when it comes to calling. Some we spoke to said they just blocked the number that texted them, but Daniel Chobik says that won't exempt you from any future texts, especially since these messages can sometimes be generated by a wide variety of numbers. In Toronto, I'm Faiz I mean for City News.